Hi, I'm Emily Littlejohn, the director of the Lupus Clinic, and I'm here to share with you a unique case of cytopenias in SLE. This is a case of a 78-year-old female with a past medical history of paroxysmal AFib, chronic sinusitis, spinal stenosis, hypertension, high cholesterol, CKD, and hypothyroidism. She initially presented to her primary care physician with joint pain in the shoulders, hands, wrists, and with progressive somnolence. EMS was acutely called during this visit for severe weakness and she was taken to the Cleveland Clinic main campus hospital. Her rheumatologic evaluation was consistent with the following. She had a positive ANA of a titer greater than one to 1280, positive anti-DNA antibodies, hypocomplementemia, and cytopenias. A white count of 3.6 with ALC of 0.49, hemoglobin of 7.9, and platelets of 213. She also had evidence of Coombs positive hemolytic anemia, and she had positive phospholipid antibodies. She presented with polyarthralgia, new trace pleural effusions, and a rash on her legs that was not biopsied, but was consistent with Livido. At this time, she was diagnosed with systemic lupus. For cytopenias and arthritis, she was given IV methylprednisolone 60 milligrams daily, and transitioned to PO prednisone at 60 milligrams daily. At her rheumatology visit follow-up, she was started on hydroxychloroquine, low-dose azathioprine with a prednisone taper. Unfortunately, she was readmitted to the hospital with shortness of breath, thought to be in heart failure. Uh, this was presumed to be from prednisone-induced fluid overload. Hematology was consulted during this time due to ongoing anemia with a hemoglobin of 6.9. At that time, she had no evidence of hemolysis. There were some teardrop cells seen on her peripheral smear, as seen in this picture. She subsequently had a hematology consult and underwent a bone marrow biopsy. The bone marrow biopsy is as follows. She had slightly hypercellular marrow for age with trilineage hematopoiesis, adequate megokaryocytes, stainable iron present without increased ring sideroblasts, and lymphoid agarits that favored reactive process. Interestingly, her cytogenetic showed a 46 deletion of 5Q, which likely indicated an evolving myelodysplastic syndrome. There have been many case reports and now larger scale studies that have established the association with myelodysplastic syndrome with autoimmune conditions such as systemic lupus. This is something we all need to be aware of when treating these complex rheumatologic patients.